yourself something cold, baby, cheers to the blues. Sometimes you gotta stay in, and you know where I live. Yeah, you know what we is. Sometimes you gotta stay in, and welcome to my house. That moves, that moves. I'm good. Focus. Okay. Oh, that's not. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Lonnie Brown here, and today I'm wearing a poncho shirt. Anyways, today I'm doing a cheap, easy, three room decor tumbler DIYs. They're pretty awesome. You can basically find anything just lying around your house and everything's cheap. I mean, like, I just literally was like running around my house just searching for stuff and like looking for inspiration. Like, guys, what? Like, do people even make videos like that? So, I watch a lot of, like, I watch a lot of room decor tumble ideas. I'm not saying these ideas are original. I just figured this was really fun video to make. But I just do my own little cheap twist on it for some things. So, um, like, I go on YouTube and I'd search and I'd be like, you gotta buy, like, that? That's, like, $10. Like, what? Like, use Polaroid photos for something, I don't have Polaroid photos. You use Instagram photos for something. I don't have an Instagram, okay? So, I'm just like, I gotta find my own version to do this that still like Tumblr-ish, when I don't got any other social media besides you guys, my family. So, these things are for everyone. Like, you can use Instagram photos, and you can use like, whoa! I'm just in like a rage mood right now. Anyways, guys, that's what this is on. And you'll see me wearing two different outfits. You won't really see me wearing another outfit because I was recording this video last Friday. And today is Friday of another week. That's how we roll. Anyways, guys, um, I'm sick, so you'll hear that. Sniffling. Sniffla, sniffla. So, poncho suit all the way. Let go, let go, let go. I'm so happy! So for this first DIY, you're going to need some pictures. I just printed some off the internet, but you can also use your Instagram photos or anything. Now I'm just cutting out the photos into triangles, any size you would like them to be. Um, probably the same size, but they don't have to be. So yeah. And I'm just shaping them out into a diamond shape like this, and you can pause the video so you can copy it. And then I'm just sticking them on my wall one by one in that same pattern with tape, but preferably something else so it sticks better because I did not stick that well. And last piece. And there you go. You have your own time. For this next DIY is this evil eye block. <coughs> Sorry. And it's just this really, really cute like room decor block and I started spray painting it on the wrong side, but you're just gonna spray paint it white. I mean, smoother block would be better, but, like, I just found this block in my backyard. And so I'm just spray painting it white, and I suggest you not doing this, but I got pretty impatient, and I started spraying painting really, really close. And so it didn't even stay on, like, the same thick coat. But this small bottle from Michael's um, worked really well, and you can use any spray paint, basically. And then I just, with Sharpies, began drawing an evil eye on it eyelashes and it's basically an open eye and a closed eye and I'm drawing this underlined eye and I hope that it's in the right direction but yeah so I just thought this would be really cute and I'm drawing eyelashes on this just going downwards now I'm just thickening the black line and adding fullness to the eyelashes in more detail and then um, making the other colors thicker also so it looks nicer and you're done with that and I just placed this, and there's my cat, on my dresser to hold up some books so they didn't fall down the side of my dresser. I'm headed straight for the...
For this next DIY, we're making the super cute jewelry holder. So you're just going to grab some polymer clay, and you're just going to roll them out into little snakes. And preferably white, so it mixes with, but I only have translucent, or like, molding, so it like, dries it spendable, buddy for white. I think it breaks less easily, but it also blends a lot easier. And then I just rolled it into a ball, and then I just flattened it out, and I used a roller, aka a straw, and I just rolled that out, like so. And then I just cut it kind of straighter lines, and I put it on parchment paper, and in the bowl, so that way it wouldn't stick to the side of the bowl, and the bowl would still be clean. So I just kind of got like a rounded shape. And then I just shaped it a bit more to my liking. And then I started up the oven. I did 170, uh, 170 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Also, 130 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes works better also. And then I just painted it and make sure that parent permission that you can paint inside. Um, my parents said I had to paint outside, so that's why the light is kind of weird and there's shadows. But I just painted it, and I'm use I was using my fingers basically this whole time. God. And then I just painted a little tray. Anyways, guys. What? Like, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching my video so much. Um, uh, remember to like this video. Um, comment down below. I've been getting a lot of nice comments from y'all. Y'all, 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 from you guys, my bays, my fam. We like group hug. A hug if you didn't know. Okay. And like subscribe, whatever it is. Woo. Like, just go like, boom. I kind of hurt. And um, comment, like I said. Anyways, guys. So, news. Good news for me. And I don't know. With my friends in some very grade. Goodness for you too. Anyways, so if you guys didn't know, if you watch my q and I go to a private school. It's a Christian school. And the conference is like the people in charge and charge like higher than the principal. So, uh, we don't do dances. Anything. Um, so we have banquets. So, 7th and 8th grade class. Because my school is preschool through 8th grade. 7th and 8th grade class. Um, we have a banquet. I'm gonna show you guys my dress, and you guys can leave if you want. Like, I just wanna share this with you guys. So, it's like black and white stripe on the bottom. The top's like lace and has like sleeves, and it's like laceness, and then the back's super cute. It just looks like that. It has a little bow thing tie on the back. And these shoes, like, what? And this whole thing was a total of like, $61 and these shoes were originally $65 but my mom got like a super good deal and this dress was originally $56 like what anyways so thank you mommy thank you daddy so I want to share this with my bays, my fam, everyone, because I, where the bays, where all the bays at, they be watching this video right now, and if you're watching this a year later, you're still a bay, because you're still watching this, and I'll be older on Instagram. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, um, this summer, again, Instagram, so stay tuned for this summer in, like, a couple of months, guys, because I'll be 13. Like, what? So guys, thank you guys like so much. Oh! So thank you guys like so much for watching this video. You know, I'm kind of long and I kind of drag it all. I want my jibbery jabbery. I'm like, I dress my shoes show it. Guys, I'm not ADHD, but I got real problems here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again. Like, comment, got a lot of nice comments, and subscribe. Subscribe! Subscribe!
Ooh that, ooh that, and an eye, get your eye, and a paper roller cover, and a ooh that, ooh that. I got my name and go. Got my name. Got my name and bold, not gold, Elani. Not gold, bold. I'm going to go voiceover. Goodbye.